A falling currency in Egypt is causing a severe drug shortage, making some patients uncertain about the future. I'm afraid of being rejected as a patient in the dialysis center, since they said it will be closed soon. And when I went to Matareya Hospital, they said they are suffering from a lack of filters and the hospital will only receive emergencies. Pharmaceutical companies in Egypt depend on imports of raw materials for almost 60 percent of their production. And they say they've been forced to phase out certain medicines to stay in business. Price caps on drugs along with the decline of the Egyptian pound have made many products unprofitable to produce or import. We are suffering from a shortage of medicine in the kidney unit and in the whole hospital generally. And recently, we have been forced to pay roughly twice as much on the black market due to the lack of supply through the normal channels. Egypt recently took what many economists say were necessary steps to unlock investment and revive growth. It floated its pound, cut fuel subsidies and agreed to a $12 billion IMF loan. But companies are struggling to import active ingredients they need to make generic medicines. The central bank's devaluation of the Egyptian pound against the dollar and the pound's plunge to the dollar caused severe losses to both medicine importers and manufacturers. A lack of drugs is not new to Egypt. The health ministry set up a drug shortages directorate in 2012 to help suggest suitable alternatives to missing medicines. And it still appears to be an ongoing issue. Ben said, TRT World.